Well, from what you've seen already, you'll know there's loads of fun here at Windsor Safari Park. There's everything from wolves to whales, from tigers to toboggans, from buzzards to butterflies, and even burgers. And it's a great day out. Terry, leave out all of that, Garth. Let's get straight on with all the animals. And the first thing you come to are the tigers and lions, and they're interested in cars. This is what Windsor's all about. Free roaming animals that come really close. I hitched a ride through the lion enclosure in the feed truck. A real experience. There we are. Lions are unique amongst cats because they live in groups called prides. They're extended families, each with two or three males. Though it's the females that do all the work. Come on. Come on. Up we come. Up we come. Right, aren't they tremendous? There have been lions at Windsor Safari Park since early 1970, and now it's built up to a pride of some 31 lions in all. And the oldest of which is a lion called Lordy, and he's about 16 years old. Now, just about every day of the week, this feed wagon is used to feed them. And it's very important, you know, for one major reason, and that is to exercise them, which is what they're doing now. And they eat something in the region of about... 15 pounds of meat every day. In the wild, it's the lionesses who do most of the hunting, and they were certainly very interested in the contents of the cage. Come on, there we are. Of course, one of the main attractions here at Windsor with the lions are the, the cubs. And there are eight cubs in all here at the moment, ranging in ages from two months old to six months old. And sometimes they do have just a little bit of a job getting hold of food. But at the end of the day, they actually get their fair share. And from the smallest cats in the park to the biggest, an eight-foot Bengal tiger. The meat cage brings their daily diet too. Between them, they'll get through four tons of meat a year. Tigers, the most powerful of all the cats. Windsor Safari Park have seven tigers in all, seven Bengal tigers. Three males and four females. Now, the oldest one is called Lancer, and he's about ten years old. They live in captivity to some 25, 30 years. And they are, in my mind, incredible, aren't you? <laughs> if we're lucky, we'll get one up on the roof in a minute. Come on, up you come. come They're very, very agile. Come on. Oh, very powerful. Yeah, there we are. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Ooh. What a lovely sound. You want some as well, dear? Yeah. <laughs> There. Those paws really are absolutely incredible. Look at them. <laughs> right, one last piece. There you go. Well, it's great fun seeing the tigers and the lions from the car, but fortunately, Windsor have got lots of open spaces and lots more animals to see. This is Margaret, a female American bald eagle and part of the park's bird of prey show. She's seven years old with a six foot wingspan and a powerful hooked beak. <laughs> bald eagles are only found in North America. They live mainly on fish, taking whole salmon with ease in these powerful talons. This is a barn owl. The show also has some more delicate stars, like Dusk the barn owl. There's a good girl. The idea is to get the birds as close as possible, and expert training makes for spectacular flying. Common buzzard, and at the moment, the common buzzard is precisely that. It's a relatively common bird of prey, particularly in the West Country. The Lake District. <laughs> but a buzzard isn't a patch on another of the stars. One of my favourite birds of prey. 
This is Perry, and she's a peregrine falcon. Now, it's a British bird, and up until a little while ago, peregrines were quite rare in this country, but they made a really good comeback, so you can actually see them hunting around the coast. Now, they feed by stooping down very fast on their prey. There are lots of legends that say they can do 200, 250 miles an hour, but I think they may be able to do about 120 miles an hour. They get up above things like pigeons and then close their wings into like an arrowhead shape and plunge down onto them, knocking them to the ground and then feeding on them. And falconers take them out to hunt things like rooks and grouse and that kind of thing. You know, ever since I was a boy, elephants have been one of my favourite animals. And here at Winter Safari Park, there are four beautiful African elephants. Now, they range in ages from three and a half years old up to about 12, and that's the biggest one over there. Just look at these huge flaps they've got on the side of their head here. And they use those for losing heat because it's very hot out on the plain where they live. Now, although elephants are big, they're certainly not clumsy. The trunk is incredibly sensitive and able to pick off single leaves. They'll eat all day long fruit, hay and fresh leaves. But even so, it will be ten years before the three-year-old babies are the size of Maasai. I must say it's a bit daunting being under such a heavy, great animal too. How are you doing? They're fantastic, aren't they? Yeah, I'll tell you what, Chris, they also use this lovely great big trunk for sucking up gallons and gallons of water. I bet they do. And uh, not only do they use that for drinking, but they also use it for spraying over their bodies to keep their bodies cool and also to keep the skin from absolutely drying out, you know? They've got a really coarse skin, haven't they? It's sort of mealy to the touch, isn't it? Yeah. And sandy yeah. and dry. Yeah. But it's, tough. it's an ideal way to have a bath, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your own shower. Right, come on then. This is the last apple. Last apple. Oops. Hey. Mind those tusks. And they grow very big, don't they? You know something, Chris? There are some animals here at Windsor that are actually taller than Maasai. The giraffes, I suppose. You've got it. The giraffes. Shall I go and take a look? I think so. OK. See you later. Bye-bye, Maasai. Mm -hmm. Over 16 feet tall, giraffes are head and shoulders above the rest of the park. But before I'd even got the step ladders out for a closer look, something else caught my eye. Now, giraffes are pretty amazing animals, but here's something that's a lot more fun. I've been really looking forward to this. This is a new toboggan ride. It's the brake on here. Pull this back to stop and push it forward to go. So let's see how good this is. This toboggan ride's really good, not for just the kids, but for the adults as well. Windsor's own Cresta Run. Now, Windsor's butterfly house isn't just an ordinary butterfly house. It's a whole tropical world, and it's absolutely teeming with wildlife. There are birds, for example, African white eyes, quail, and, of course, the most wonderful flowers. It's as near to a tropical world as you could possibly get. It's got all the right ingredients. It's humid, it's very hot, and it's got lots and lots of foliage around, and it's just right for the animals. Flowers like these provide the food source of one of the most amazing animals in this tropical world. It's a bird called a hummingbird, and it's so thirsty for energy that it feeds on a neat solution of sugar, which it finds in the form of nectar in these flowers, and it may visit them 300 times a day. To make life easier, some will take sugar solution from artificial feeders. Absolutely brilliant. Well, you know, in my opinion, the two star attractions of Windsor's tropical world are these guys, American alligators. And this one down here, the male, is about 15 feet in length. The other one, the female, who's trying to 
Get some fish. There's about ten feet in there. Come on. Now, these two haven't actually eaten for about two weeks. Alligators don't need to eat that much because they don't burn up that much energy. They just lie in wait for their prey most of the time. Now, their diet consists of uh, rabbits, chickens, and in particular, herrings, which is one of their favourites. Butterflies are much more delicate, drinking nectar from the flower heads and flying amongst the visitors. And because these are tropical, they're not just brightly coloured, they're big as well. 